Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the uplift in the fighter sortie performance of the Shandong aircraft carrier, also known as the Carrier 002. The Shandong has taken over as the main line aircraft carrier of the PLA Navy, while the Liaoning has gone back to the shipyard for maintenance and modernization. The Shandong was commissioned in 2019, and basically is a sister ship of the Liaoning. There were some minor improvements, like a smaller island compared to the Liaoning, and a modified ski jump. But otherwise, the two ships are essentially the same. Both ships operate a short takeoff and a rested recovery method for flight operations. So what has the Shandong been up to these days? On April the 4th, the Shandong and her embarked air wing and her escorts passed through the southeast waters near Taiwan to start her first training voyage in the Western Pacific. The Shandong is basically following the footsteps of the Liaoning in her quest to achieve full operational capability in a blue water context. The carrier was accompanied by the Type 055 destroyer, the Yan An, the Type 052 DL destroyer, the Jiao Zhuo, two Type 054A frigates, the Liu Zhou and Xu Chang, and a Type 901 fleet replenishment ship. According to Taiwan, the carrier was 200 nautical miles off Taiwan's east coast so they maintained a certain distance away from the island. At the same time, the US Navy's Nimitz Carrier Strike Group was operating in the vicinity of Taiwan in the Philippine Sea. According to US officials, there were no unsafe interactions between the fighters from both sides, and in fact, interactions were minimal, probably deliberately to avoid accidents. The Shandong carrier launched well over 80 fixed-wing fighter missions by the J-15 Flying Shark over a three-day period from Friday to Sunday, from April the 7th to the 10th, according to Japanese officials who monitored the carrier group's every movement and activities. This amounts to around 27 fighter sorties per day. In addition to the fighter sorties, there were around 40 helicopter sorties by the embarked Z-18s and the Z-9Cs. In total, the Shandong achieved 120 sorties by aircraft of all types over the course of three days, or around 40 sorties per day. This has exceeded the sortie rate achieved by the Liaoning earlier in 2022. While on these blue water patrols, the Liaoning sustained at most 20 fighter sorties per day on average, significantly lower than the Shandong's 27. Liaoning's total aircraft sorties of 35 of all types are also lower than the Shandong's 40 daily missions. Now, I understand that the Liaoning was operating nowhere near its maximum sortie potential when on these blue water deployments. Still, the higher tempo flight operation by the Shandong is a confirmation that Chinese carrier flight operations is capable of much more than what we have seen so far. The Shandong Carrier Force was part of the Eastern Theater Command's Joint Sword Drills, which began on the 8th of April and ended on the 10th. The drills were a reaction to the Taiwanese president meeting the U.S. Speaker of the House in California. Twelve PLAN warships and more than 90 aircraft conducted missions in the vicinity of Taiwan, according to officials in Taipei. Since the end of the exercise, the Shandong Carrier Force sailed westwards to continue on their patrol in the Central Pacific. The Carrier Force undertook further intense exercises near the U.S. island of Guam. In early April 2023, the Shandong Carrier conducted possibly the most intense blue water drills ever carried out by a Chinese carrier her sustained sortie rate surpassing that of the Liaoning back in January. 
Although China currently only fields two aircraft carriers, both have demonstrated very high levels of combat readiness, and this experience will be valuable as the fleet grows and begins to integrate larger and more advanced warships.